I'm excited. Well, excited and nervous at the same time because it's my first time traveling and never represent a country, Jamaica. I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy to never do this. So excited and nervous. Now, really, it's a joy start. Yeah, really happy to make you know. Going into Korea, leaving my country. Going into Korea to represent my country. Yeah, man. Something more me I work for over the years, you know. Been a put in work, but you know what? Time, not big time. Ready, ready. I've been a part of dance expressions for two years now. I've been a part of dance expression for nine years. I've been in another group before, but it wasn't professional. So, yes, dance expressions is the first professional group I've been in. Dance expression is my first professional group. I've been around other groups, yes, but they weren't professional dance expressions. And that's the thing there. The first thing I like about dance expressions is that they teach me the history of dance. Second, they help me to become a better dancer. And third, even though it's challenging, them always make me feel comfortable. And last but not least, I always have fun doing it. What I love the most about dance expressions is the fact that I learned a lot here, you know? I learned a lot about the history, you know? When you want to learn the history about dance and dance art itself, you know you have to link up with the professor, you have to link them up with him. So, as a young person, being around Arville is a blessing and it's a plus for a dancer like me. We can educate myself and surround myself with information, you know. And the next thing is the professionalism. Yeah. They are very professional, you know, and um, for this trip, it's another plus, I tell you. It's a joy to see this come true with this trip. Preparation for this particular performance more hectic than, than the, the others before. For a couple of reasons, well, one, it's 20 minutes of dance straight, which you know is, is, is telling because it moved from scare and scare is an up tempo dance in itself. We go through rock steady, we go through reggae, and reggae is done as a mixture. So even the, on the female bodies, it, it is a little more rigid because it's not just reggae dance moves and do them, them, them mix it with modern contemporary and feel like Christina you know she have a carry through the piece she understand the, the technique and then she's learning now so it's not like dance always just something that comes second nature she really have to understand about different in a body position she have to learn about Relevé and play, and she has to learn about Ron de Jean and all of the different things. Them and what is a turnout, and you know how she uses her hands and how she keeps her shoulders down and her neck tall. So she has to do all of them things. So that's 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 one which is totally different on the, on the body. How do I feel being a mentor to Christina? It's humbling, very humbling, because sometimes 
you know sometimes i see a lot of traits of me in her and it's a little bit of good and it's a little bit of bad but when you have the chance to advise younger dancers about the culture of what you do and how to take it seriously and have them seeing you live up to a certain level where they can go wow I want to be like that one day again I say it's humbly really humbly Okay, so how bad are my knees? Uh, it started, well, it started in a rehearsal from Jamaica. Um, I did a move, felt the pop, heard the pop. I didn't play in the mind. Um, kept dancing on it and stuff. Had tours coming up. Um, it wasn't giving me much problems at that time, but had workshops in Colombia in 2016 and um, did about four about three to four classes but I noticed the knee started getting very big very swollen and um, I had to now go from Colombia to Mexico to do six workshops now the knee started paining I don't know what was going on don't know what was happening when I get to call, when I got to call, uh, Mexico, the promoter Paula saw my knee and said to me, "That don't look good." And um, she took me to a specialist, and that was the wake-up call and reality that um, the knee was filled with fluid, so they had to pull four four tubes like you know the, the the biggest injection tube you can find the needle that's what they injected four corners of the knee and pulled fluid from it the doctor further went on to say um i had uh no cartilage and a shattered meniscus and i said to him what does that mean and he said, no dancing, no jumping, no climbing stairs. Like, if I had to walk from here to the bathroom, I would have to be using a crutch. So, you know, me start thinking, no, this is, I'm in Mexico. I have six workshops to do. Hearing this, what am I going to do? And... He said, the doctor said, well, you have to consider surgery. How I feel about surgery is that a knife mustn't cut my body unless it is absolutely life-threatening. That's how I feel about surgeries. And I said, okay. We left the doctor's office and I mean, I was in tears. I was in so many, so much tears because I mean, I was feeling pain from the knee because they draw the fluid. So he didn't tell me ice, oh my God, ice every 10 minutes, every hour on the hour. And that was, I mean, that was for about a good three days before because we had to rest and stuff when we got to Mexico. And we had a meeting with the promoters. The promoters were, you no, know, I saw worry and everything on their faces because now students pay their money, the place is booked for classes, and 
they don't know what to do. And I said to them, listen, I can manage. I will know how to adjust myself. And like they were, they were absolutely scared for me. But I knew, I knew I had a job to do. I had to complete six workshops. And it was not just because of the money. It was because of the students. And it is it was really because of the passion that I have for dance. So before every workshop with ice, rub, and I'm out there. Professor watching me, promoters watching me, to not put apply a lot of pressure to the knee. But in not doing in not applying pressure to the sick knee, I started applying pressure to the right knee. So now, I don't know how bad the right knee is now, but it, it gives me more strength than the left knee. But people always be dancing in two knee straps and it, it protects me. A lot of times, I mean, I've started therapy. I started therapy and I stopped. And um, it was primarily because my mom took sick and that came first. So, um... I'm still doing what I'm doing because I love what I do. Um, a lot of times when I caption my 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 my, my classes on Instagram, if you see that caption, I love my job. I love to see smiles on people's faces, and I primarily teach female dance hall dancing. So I love to I love to see females deliver a different sense of sensuality on their faces in their bodies, and that's what I teach. So. My knees will forever carry me until they say they will go no more. <laughs>